If you're still making trips to the grocery store, you may notice it's hard to socially distance in the crowded aisles. Well, two towns are solving that problem. Wilkesboro and North Wilkesboro are only allowing one person per family to be in the store at a time. Reporter Dave Faraday spoke to shoppers who are glad to see the new rule. Well, if you look behind me, you can see the parking lot of this Walmart is filled with cars, but the store is not nearly as crowded with only one family member allowed inside. Outside the Walmart in Wilkesboro, we could see workers making sure only one person at a time was entering the super center. Under its emergency declaration in response to COVID-19, both Wilkesboro and North Wilkesboro are ordering only one individual per family shall enter a retail store to shop. Well, no, I think it's good because my mom, she's 78. She don't need to be in there anyway. And so I go and I get stuff. Honestly, you got one at a time. Um, you shouldn't be coming out unless you need necessities. The orders extend to businesses across both towns, even saying that children should not accompany a parent when they go to the store. This woman who wore a mask today for protection says too many families and friends were going out together during the stay at home order. That gets so aggravating. You get these people in there, they're four or five, six people in the aisle wanting to just bunch up and talk. Single parents can take a child if they're unable to find someone to watch their children. The towns are also ordering people to maintain social distancing inside the businesses and follow the directions of workers and the signs placed at the stores. This couple went to the store this morning, but Vince Adams says he stayed behind in the car. We gotta gotta stay safe. It's a little inconvenience, but it's well worth it if it keeps people safe. And the city manager told me earlier they're hoping that shoppers voluntarily comply with the order. They don't want to have to find someone up to five hundred dollars. Already here in Wilkes County, one person has died from COVID-19. Back to you.